Hey, it's Troy Ernst from Bridgewater Honda. I'd just like to take a moment to show you the 2022 Honda CRV Sport. The CRV Sport is a Canadian exclusive edition built just for Canada. It's got some great features to it, including 19 inch alloy rims. If you take a little walk around, it's got uh, roof rails and a sunroof on it. Quick peek inside. Some of the things that are exclusive to this edition, it's got dual material seats. So it's got the leather bolstered edges and the headrest as well as the fabric in the center. Heated steering wheel. Some really nice uh, alloy pedals on it. And we take a little walk around the vehicle, I'll show you some more of the exclusive features on it. We come around to the back. Now one of the other features that it has, so this trim previously used to be known as the EX. And the EX, it was a manual tailgate now. You've got a power tailgate. Makes things a lot easier. Stop it, put it back down again. And it's also got the really nice uh, square fluted dual exhaust on the bottom, as well as all CRVs come standard with factory remote start. It's a fantastic feature because you don't have to preset anything. The whole goal is for 21 degrees, so if it's cold like it is today, excuse the tears, um, basically what it's going to do is when you remote start the vehicle, it's going to warm it up. It's going to put your heated seats on and your heated steering wheel and the defrosters. But if you do it in the summertime when it's blisteringly hot, it's actually going to cool it down using the EC. Let's hop in and take it for a drive. Alrighty, so let's go over some of the interior of the vehicle before we take off for our drive. Um, the Honda CRV has the full suite of the safety sensing features. So the lane departure warnings, the collision mitigation braking system, which is the radar in the front that uh, prevents you uh, uh, from running into a vehicle in front of you if they stop too quick or what have you. Um, it's got adaptive cruise control, which allows you to follow uh, a vehicle in front of you at a safe distance when you're on cruise control, as well as the lane keeping assist for when you're on the highway. If you drift out of your lane, it will actually warn you and correct you back in your lane so you don't cross the center medium or go into the ditch. These also have heated windshield wipers, which are quite nice. Now, it's not actually the wipers that heat up. It's a strip along the bottom of the windshield. So let's say if there's a snowstorm going down on, a lot of people like to lift their wipers up. You don't have to in this case. So when you start the vehicle, it'll actually start up that strip and warm it up so that your wipers will defrost and it'll actually speed up how quick your windshield defrosts for you. Automatic lights and fog lights on this. Your full suite of all your audio controls here as well as your Bluetooth. This has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in it. Um, heated steering wheel, like I mentioned before, which is fantastic. I'm going to actually turn it on myself for the drive. The cruise control, front and rear wipers, ample center storage that's adjustable, econ button for saving you uh, on fuel for when you're driving around town or rurally, and of course it's got the automatic uh, idle control stop as well so that when you stop at a uh, flat surface the engine will go into hibernation mode to save more, more fuel. This can be turned off every time you get into the vehicle. Full range of climate control, beautiful touch screen with backup camera. Now I'll uh, some things I like to point out about the backup cameras on these, so it's a wide view, a narrow view. You can actually turn it on so you're looking at your rear bumper, the leading edge of the rear bumper. So if you're backing up or if you're trying to line up a trailer hitch. And it's fully dynamic. And a little, little less than that dotted line, we call that the grocery line. So when you're backing up, that denotes how far you can back up against an object and still open the hatch without hitting it. And one last thing to show before we go for the drive, this also has what's called a lane watch camera. So it's only on the right hand side of the vehicle. It's for when you're merging lanes, turning off on an off ramp, or even doing parallel parking. When I put the blinker on, you see down the right hand side of the vehicle. Now you can also turn it on just by pressing the tip of the stock as well. So anyway, enough of me talking, let's go for a drive. So the CRV is, uh, it does come in a front wheel drive version, but the majority of them are all wheel drive and they're an absolute boss in the snow. Fantastic performance. 
And for those of you who are wondering, I, I do get this question a lot. A lot of people ask, is it always in all-wheel drive? And the answer is no. Uh, when you first take off, it goes in all-wheel drive. If you reach a certain amount of incline, it'll switch to all-wheel drive. Or if you get predictive or actual slippage, then it sends it back to the rear wheels. The rest of the time, uh, it'll just drive into the front-wheel drive mode, and it does so, it saves you a lot more fuel that way. So as I've pointed out in a lot of my other videos, the, uh, the Honda safety sensing suite, there's a camera that's behind the rear view mirror that reads the lines in the road, as well as there's a radar built into the uh, bumper of the vehicle. So one of the features is the, uh, the lane departure warning. So basically for 40 kilometers an hour and over, when that feature is turned on, they're all customizable, so you can turn them on and off as you wish. But if I'm going over 40 kilometers an hour, and if I were to drift out of my lane without the blinker or the brake, the steering wheel is actually gonna thump like rumble strips, and it's gonna give me a little audio and visual warning. And one of the other features as well is the collision mitigation braking system, and that's, the, uh, that's that radar that I mentioned in the front of the vehicle. So as you're driving along, um, you know, if uh, you come up onto a vehicle too quick, or somebody brakes too quick in front of you, and you're not paying attention, you're a little distracted by something, first the vehicle's going to warn you and tell you you need to brake, but if you don't do it fast enough, it's going to disengage your accelerator for you and actually engage the brake for you. Um, gradually, it's, you know, it's not so much like the commercials where you see all of a sudden the vehicle come to a screeching stop, it's going to base it all on how fast you're coming up onto the object in front of you. If you're anything like I am and have a back like a breadstick, one thing I forgot to mention about the seats on the uh, Sport Trim as well is they're full power seats. Uh, and they also have an adjustable and inflatable and deflatable lumbar support. So you can actually move the lumbar support up and down on your back where you need it and actually inflate it and deflate it to whatever feels best. school zone in a second here so we're just going to slow down a little just a minute here we're going to turn onto the highway and uh, really show the the power and the efficiency that the engine has and kind of go over some more of the safety features themselves there we go
So the CRV, uh, even though it's uh, got a uh, 1.5 liter uh, turbo four cylinder engine in it, it puts out 190 horsepower, and it's got plenty of pickup because unlike the Toyota Rav4, the uh, the turbo on this kicks in at much lower RPM, right about 4,000 RPM. The turbo kicks in versus 7,000 on a Rav4. So I mean, you get super quick, super smooth acceleration. But the nice thing is you get super fantastic fuel economy as well. I just kind of talk about some of those safety features that I'd mentioned for the highway. Uh, there's one that's uh, it's called adaptive cruise control. So basically when my cruise is set, I can go in and using that same radar that's in the front of the vehicle, I can set a uh, safe distance follow um, anywhere between one to four units. Uh, we like to say car lengths, but the, the, the units of distance actually change depending on the speed you're going on. But I can set the safe distance so that when I'm on cruise, let's say I'm, I'm doing 100 on cruise and I come up to somebody who's only doing 80, it's actually going to detect that vehicle and slow to match their speed at that safe preset distance. And that way I don't have to touch the brake, I don't have to hit the resume button for my cruise. Uh, when I go to pass or when they turn off, my vehicle will just automatically resume the preset uh, speed. The other great safety feature that uh, for the highway on these is the lane keeping assist. So remember earlier I mentioned about the uh, lane departure warning so basically 40 kilometers an hour and over if you drift out of your lane without the blink or the brake it's going to thump and warn you just like you're on rumble strips well for the lane keeping assist it's the same idea but for 72 kilometers an hour and over so if i drift out of my lane without the blinker or the brake uh, it's going to actually thump and warn me and steer me back into my lane uh, it's going to tell me that you know steering is required and um, basically, it's, it's the whole idea is just to prevent me from crossing the center line or the, uh, the going off the side into the ditch at high speed and causing an accident. And one thing you probably noticed me here say about both the, uh, the lane departure warnings is without the blinker or the brake. These cameras are fantastic, but they, they don't know which side of the road you're on. So when it comes to passing, proper etiquette is important. Blinker on to pass, blinker on when you pull back in again or blinker on when you're turning off an off ramp while these features are turned on. That way, if you don't want them to uh, give you a little tug or to give you that lane departure warning, if you're using the blinker or have your foot on the brake, it won't do that. All right, so we're coming up to our exit now. So you can notice on the highway, very smooth very comfortable drive a lot of people tend to look at me and go well you know I like the CRV but I don't want an SUV that big um, to be honest with you when you're driving it it does not feel like a big SUV it, it feels very much like a, a nice smooth sedan style drive to it all right so we're just gonna loop around head back into town now back towards the dealership Got to tell you, on a cold day like today, this heated uh, steering wheel feels fantastic. I'm just going to cut across to the, uh, the back roads here just to demonstrate a few more features and how smooth the drive is. So you probably noticed every time I put the blinker on that the side view camera came on, the one that I'd mentioned earlier. Now the ex Canadian exclusive edition of the CRV Sport here, they've got so many features. I call it a feature dump because compared to the the, the previous EX version of it from uh, 2019 and earlier, it's it's a whole different vehicle. I mean, even everything like they've even added the uh, 
the Honda HomeLink system, which is a series of buttons here. So if you've got garage doors at home with garage door openers, instead of having have those little clips up here, you can actually program this directly to your garage door opening system. So I like to come this way because the uh, road's a little twisty and turny here, so it's a great way to demonstrate how well this handles. <clears throat> Honda vehicles in general have, uh, you know, systems designed to help you control oversteer and understeer and to keep you going in a straight line when possible. And it does so by, the computer actually monitors your driving and your slippage and everything else, and it will actually control the brakes on all four wheels and flutter them slightly just to help with the, the steering. Let's say when I go around the corner here, if I don't want to oversteer or understeer, while I don't realize it, it's actually just flooding the brakes just a little just to help with things to make it a lot smoother. All right, so just up this way back to the dealership. back to the dealership. Put her in the park. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming with for the drive and I look forward to any questions you might have.